Hi, I'm Kamala. You are watching the Culinary Cam YouTube channel, and I'm going to show you how I turn this and this into homemade guacamole. When bacon avocados come into the market, I love to make homemade guacamole. These are called bacon avocados, not because they taste like bacon or because they need to be eaten with bacon, though I do put them in BLTs a lot. These are named for a cultivar that was discovered and hybridized by a person named James Bacon. They are thinner skinned than the Haas and kind of lighter, more buttery and creamy. They're one of my favorites. And these were grown by a farmer friend of mine, Jamie of Serendipity Farms. Guacamole is all about the best avocado you can get. So high quality, delicious in season avocados. And then it is about texture and freshness. I like to add in some chopped red onion for some texture and then just a little bit of jalapeno for the spice and then some good quality salt and you're good to go. For the red onions, I like to soften them a little bit in lemon juice just because sometimes raw onions can have a little too much bite. So just take those lemons, squeeze it over your onions before you start the recipe and they're just going to soften a little bit, kind of like ceviche for an onion. This is about one teaspoon, it's half of a jalapeno. Okay, so I told you for me guacamole is about texture and freshness. So to that end with the guacamole and the avocados, I actually do a mixture of completely squished and then some chunks. So I have two bacon avocados in here and I'm just going to mash it with a spoon or a fork. Fork might be better. Okay, so I have mashed half of the avocados. Now the other half, I'm just going to leave a little bit more chunky. Okay, so I put in those second, the other two avocados, and this I'm just going to mash just a little bit, but leave some of those big, beautiful chunks of this buttery, creamy bacon avocado. So I'm just gonna toss those red onions and the lemon juice and the peppers one more time, give it a nice coat, and pour the whole thing into the avocados. Okay, so I put in the red onions and the jalapenos, and you can use white onions. I just love the contrast of the purple and the green for the guacamole. Now I'm gonna put in about a third of a cup of fresh chopped cilantro, pinch of salt, and then a little more lemon juice. Now you can make this as complicated or as basic as you like. I just like to show off that beautiful creamy avocado. I have seen people put in chopped tomatoes. I've even seen people put on grasshoppers on the top. They can garnish with fresh radish. This is sort of a choose your own adventure guacamole, but the basics are always the same. Avocado, something spicy, and something citrusy. Let me find a bowl and some chips. You can garnish with some fresh cilantro. And there you have it, homemade guacamole.